Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Pancho back at you again with another video. And so it seems as if we've had a huge update over these past few days in regards to the shooting that took place in Kesgrave. We covered this story a short while ago, laying out what the prosecution alleged was to have happened in this case, but it does seem as if we can now say for certain that did in fact take place, what the prosecution said, as recently a verdict was given for the 16-year-old boy who was on trial for his role in the shooting of a former friend of his who he said had bullied him at school. If you want to hear more about this story in depth, feel free to go and check my other video out I did covering this. It will be linked down in the description below. To quickly sum up though, at around 8.40am on the 7th of September 2020, a 15-year-old schoolboy had left his home to walk to school when he was confronted by what he thought was one of his friends, who was at the time 15 years old, and he was armed with a shotgun. The image that you see on the screen right now is the one that was used in the shooting that's recently been released to the press. It was then he shot him in the face, but he claims he didn't mean to, and he just brandished the gun to scare him. He said he pulled the trigger accidentally, and it was only to get back at him for the bullion. The victim was left with a significant injury to his face and initially he was in a life-threatening condition. When he arrived at hospital, he went on to have a stroke which left him partially paralysed and he's been left with some brain damage. Until today, months on, he's still receiving treatment for what reports describe as lifelong injuries. Over these past few days, the then 15-year-old boy, who's now 16, was found guilty of attempted murder on a majority verdict of 11 to 1 after more than 22 hours of deliberation over a five-day period. He was also found guilty of possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life, but was found not guilty of possessing a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence. This was in relation to what we spoke about in the previous video, where this 16-year-old boy was said to have pointed the shotgun at a man who witnessed the shooting. After the verdict was given, the judge adjourned the sentencing until the 3rd of September 2021, and this was to allow reports to be prepared on the defendant and the judge wanted an update on the victim's injuries. He also wants statements on the effect of what happened to the victim's family and the local community. The judge also told the 16-year-old boy that he needed more information on him before he was sentenced but warned him to be prepared for a lengthy period of custody. Of course, as it stands right now, he's under the age of 18 so his identity can't be revealed but a request can be made to the judge to lift that restriction. Whether he does or not will become more clear over these next few months. But in that last video, I couldn't really give commentary because it was still an ongoing case, but now that it's been wrapped up, I just wanted to say that no, I don't condone him bullying, but at the end of the day, the last thing that you want to do, especially at such a young age, is arm yourself with a shotgun and attempt to take someone's life away. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video doesn't agree with people getting bullied. It's one of the worst things that can happen to a child at school or just in general anyway but for you to try and take someone's life away rather than trying to sort the issue out other ways just isn't worth it because now a young boy has been left paralyzed with brain damage and another boy will be spending more than likely 15 plus years in prison and that's pretty much two children having their lives taken away due to this situation but i am hoping for the 15 year old boy who was shot in this situation can get all the help he can moving forward. I know from reports that does seem like that is the case because we have to remember that he is the victim in this situation who's been left with life long injuries as it's been described. So I am hoping moving forward he can get all the help that he can and his family can get all the support that they can also. But of course, when I do get updates out of this situation, as always, I'm going to keep you guys posted on this one. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like and if you want the latest Drill Street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Spinny Boy Ape Honcho and I'm out.